Hey guys, today I'm gonna do a little house update for y'all. So we've been back in Mississippi for three weeks now and been having contractors in and out the house for three weeks. So lots of work has been done, but it's just very hard to film with people in and out of the house. None of the rooms are done. It's just been total chaos. Plus four kids running around the house is always loud. So I'm hoping I can make it through this video without any major drama happening. <laughs> Let's start out in the room I am standing in. So this is gonna be my room that is dedicated specifically to filming and crafting. So I am so excited to have a room that is gonna be set up and pretty and exactly the way I want it to be, to be able to film and create videos for y'all. I won't have to be moving stuff around like I used to have to do in Louisiana because where I filmed was also our outside kitchen that we use. So I am really excited about this space. So before it was actually the dining room and behind me was an opening. So you walk through the front door of the house and there was a huge opening here and a huge opening that led to the garage and it was basically just a big hallway it's not really close to the kitchen i look back at the pictures of the two previous owners no one has used it as a dining room it was always used as an office so we decided to go ahead and close this room in so we sealed up this wall and then on the other side is a door and then we also added a closet so now this room is actually a bedroom if we wanted it to be a bedroom and then next to the kitchen they have what's popular here called a hearth room and to us that makes the most sense to be the dining room it is right next to the kitchen we would just never use this as a dining room and nobody ever has so for us it just made sense to turn it into an extra bedroom once the contractors are done in the house, this is definitely the first room I want to finish. That way I can get back to filming. I cannot wait. There's just no way in the house right now that I could film thrift lifts. There's just nowhere to do it. Um, so yeah, I am ready for them to be finished with this room so I can get back to work. Now let's move upstairs. Y'all know that I pulled up the carpet and what is going to be the boys room and painted their floors that was a good call because the mess that the drywall made was insane and i i pulled up the carpet because we were preparing for closets being built and i didn't want the closets being built on top of the carpet i do not regret that decision i'm glad i prepped that room so it was ready for the closets and it was ready for flooring whenever we're ready to put it down. So the contractors ended up putting up the closets a little bit different than I had planned and it came out so good. The closets are huge, like plenty enough room for both boys. We have enough room to put a dresser in there and also some hanging space. It's gonna be great. I don't have to put any dressers in their rooms. Everything is gonna be able to fit in their closet and they each have their own closet and it actually it made the room smaller which i feel like the room needed it was just so big so now it's just still big but just a little smaller a little bit cozier the boys have been sleeping up there they love it um we haven't put anything in our closets yet because i have to paint the inside of them and then we have to put you know some shelves and some hanging rods and all that stuff so That'll be coming up, I haven't gotten to that yet. Overall, I am very happy with the space and our decision to put the closets in there. Just for, again, for resale, just like in this room, it just makes it a more usable space because the closet they had in there that they were calling a closet just was not feasible. So now we have a room up there with two great size closets and then we have an extra room down here next let's talk about floors so y'all know i did a whole video on picking out the floors i ended up going with something that lumber liquidators had in stock because the contractors were going to be coming and i needed flooring and let me just say 
and the craziness of the housing market, I am so happy we were able to get contractors here really quick. We closed at the end of May and they started working at the end of June. So that was great because a lot of people are having trouble getting contractors to come and give them a quote and show up. And so far these guys have come, shown up, and done great work. So that has been great. I do not regret the decision to go with the lumber liquidator floors instead of waiting on the florette floors because y'all it's been total chaos over here. I just needed floors. We needed to get settled in and I still do not regret that decision. Now to prepare for the floors, I had to take up all the carpet because they weren't going to do that. Oh my goodness y'all underneath the carpet was so disgusting uh this house is 19 years old and i'm pretty positive that flooring was original to this house Ugh. and then i pulled up the laminate flooring and the contractors actually pulled up that little bit of tile in the hallway that we want to pull up they said that that was the most difficult tile that they have ever had to pull up and the mess that it made Oh my gosh, I, I thought drywall was a mess. Just that little bit of tile that they pulled up, I had a layer of dust covering the whole house. It was a total mess. I am so glad we decided to keep tile, the tile in the rest of the house because I do not want to pull up any more of that tile. Oh my goodness, what a mess. So they started laying the flooring last week. I think it looks great. It's, it looks good with the colors that I'm going with. It's very neutral. So I feel like, you know, I did good. It'll be, it'll be fine. So they started working on the floors last week and I think they are finally gonna be finished everything today. <laughs> I cannot wait. I mean, the guys have been nice, but I cannot wait to get them out of the, the house. So that's everything that the contractors have done in the past three weeks. Now let's talk about everything that I have done. So of course I had to pull up all the carpet before they came and <laughs> pulling up the carpet upstairs was nothing compared to pulling up the carpet downstairs on cement. So that was just a whole job. And like I said, it was really, really nasty under the carpet. So it felt good to get all that up. And then, I don't think I talked about the square footage of this house. It is 3,400 square feet. So it is a huge house, um, very overwhelming. It feels like 3,400 pounds laying on my chest just thinking about everything that needs to be done in this house. And the paint colors weren't exactly awful, but the paint job definitely was. It was not a good paint job, not something I could live with. So I'm like, okay, what would be the best things to paint right now before the flooring is down? And that is where I decided to start. So in both of the girls' rooms, the paint jobs are really bad. And they had gotten a lot of paint of the wall color on the ceiling. And I'm like, no way I can live with that. So I decided to go ahead and paint their ceiling. So I painted both of their ceilings. And then I also used whatever paint I had left over just to put one coat on Ryan's wall because there was like a bright purple in that room. I also painted the um, moldings, all the moldings in her room. I didn't do Ren's room because I didn't pull up the carpet till the very last minute because I wanted to try to keep that room as put together as possible, but I did get her ceiling painted in there. Then I decided to start painting the doors because the doors were pretty bad. They had put touch up paint everywhere, but it didn't match the color of the doors. I don't think the doors were ever painted. I think it was just the color it came from the store and all the hardware on the doors were different. So I decided I was just gonna go ahead and pull all the doors off, paint all the hardware and paint the door and paint the casings. So that's what I have been working on. I've painted 10 doors so far, but <laughs> I counted last night probably wasn't a good idea but I still have 13 interior doors left to paint I didn't even count the outside doors I think there's like four of them um but it made such a difference like 
Oh, I think that's what I'm going to, after I finish this video, I'm going to get back to painting the doors because it really made such a difference. It looks so good. What I did was I just uh, sprayed the hardware with a coat of, I didn't want matte, so I used a satin black spray paint and I let everything dry for 24 hours before I put it back on. It looks great. It's holding up great. I started this about two weeks ago and yeah, everything's still holding up great. And then I also decided to go ahead and get my master bedroom all the way painted because we had found a king size bed frame for our room. We had our mattress, the flooring was going to be going in and I'm like, why don't I try to get my bedroom all the way done just so I don't have to look at it at night at all the horrible paint job in this room halfway done. So I went ahead and painted that room. It took me an entire day just to paint that room, the walls, the moldings, everything. I did not paint the ceiling. That's going to be a job for another day. The ceilings in the house are popcorn and I absolutely hated it but they had very like bright and dark colored uh, paint on the walls. And once I painted it a more calm color, the popcorn ceiling kind of got hidden a little bit. So that kind of excited me that once I paint the other rooms in the house, the popcorn ceiling will hopefully kind of start to disappear. And also painting it, so when I painted the girl ceiling, I never painted popcorn ceiling before. It really wasn't that hard. It really wasn't any different than painting a smooth ceiling. So that was exciting. At some point, my master bedroom ceiling will get painted, but I'm gonna need scaffolding and stuff like that. So I don't know when that's gonna happen. I just cannot handle that right now. So it'll have to wait. But I'm glad to have at least one room semi done so I can kind of see how the look is going together. Like I was able to see what my wall color looks like with the flooring everything looks good so let's talk about paint for a minute so the last time i went to get paint from sherwin williams it was 50 dollars a gallon and i love sherwin williams paint but i just couldn't do 50 dollars a gallon in this house like like i said it's lots of square footage lots of painting that needs to happen so i decided to go to walmart and color match the colors um for sherwin williams and y'all it's only $15 a gallon at Walmart, but the paint was like, I don't know, it looked dirty, like it had no luster to it. I really, really hated it. So I'm like, oh man, what I'm going to do? I really don't want to spend $50 a gallon. So I ended up going to Lowe's who carry Sherwin Williams. I didn't even know because in Louisiana, the closest Lowe's is an hour away. So I've never gotten paint there. I either get paint from Walmart or there's a Sherwin Williams in town and that's where I've gotten all my paint um, in Louisiana from. So anyway, I went to Lowe's and they carry Sherwin Williams paint and they were able to get the paint colors I wanted. So I wanted white duck for the walls and for the moldings, I went with Greek Villa. So in Louisiana, Greek Villa is what I have on my ceiling. It's on the same color palette as duck white. So it goes all together, but in Louisiana, the, all the moldings were already painted and they were painted in Dover white. So that's what I went with. But over here, since everything was different colors, I was able to pick the color molding that I wanted. So I went with Greek Villa. So anyway, <laughs> I went to Lowe's and they were able to mix that. It was about 20, no, it was $35 for a semi-gloss for my moldings. I highly recommend semi-gloss for moldings. I think a gloss is just way too glossy. I prefer semi-gloss. And then for walls, you always want to go with an eggshell or satin. And I just went ahead and got a five gallon bucket of Sherwin-Williams White Duck. And I got it in the Ultra brand, I believe. And it ended up coming out to about $26 a gallon. I think it was $130 for that five gallon bucket. So that's not that bad. I was really excited that I was able to get the color that I wanted for a little bit less of a price. And man, like 
yeah just do not go with walmart paint for your walls like it was the color was right but like i said there was no luster to it it just looked very dull so i just wanted to tell y'all that in case y'all were looking for paint i would spend a little bit more on a more quality paint also when i try to do my moldings with the walmart paint i put two coats on and it still looked like it needed a third coat and then with the Lowe's paint, I just had to put one coat on and I was done. So it was definitely a huge time saver as well because I didn't have to put as many coats of paint on. We also bought a king size bed frame that was kind of the look I wanted, but not the color. So I will be painting furniture, but man, after painting this bed frame, I remember why I do not like doing furniture. Smalls, it's just kind of like, you can get a ton of them done and it's quick and it's easy. Furniture, you're talking about like days of work. So what I decided to do with this bed frame is I wanted it to be black, but not solid black. So I did a black wash mixing Waverly black ink chalk paint with a little bit of water. I did a black wash on it and then I went over it with my antiquing wax. I got this uh, tip from Ginger Chick. She always puts antiquing wax over her black paint and it makes it a lot more richer and not solid black. Totally agree. It looks absolutely amazing. So I added that on and then I put a few coats of sealer. Y'all, I spent an entire day working on this bed frame. And then 9.30 at night, I go into the room that I was painting in and Ren had gotten in there. My daughter had left a can of paint open and painted everything. Oh my gosh, she paint, She had paint down the hallway. She had paint in my bedroom. She had paint in the kitchen. Like she probably had two minutes to make this mess before somebody called her. Like I don't even understand how she painted so fast. Like I should probably hire her and get her to start painting stuff because she's quick. <laughs> but it was so upsetting. I had spent all day working on this bed and it looked exactly the way that I wanted it to look. So me and the other kids spent like an hour and a half just scrubbing the paint off, scrubbing everything off, scrubbing the paint that Ren put on there, scrubbing the brown off, scrubbing the black off, just getting it back to how it originally was so I could start over again. <laughs> that has been also, I didn't even talk about this, but that has been a huge challenge trying to paint with Ren in the house and just making sure she doesn't touch anything or get in the paint. There's been a few times where I walk away for a second and she like runs in the room, grabs that paintbrush and paints a bunch of stuff. I'm like, I was just in here. Like she stands there and she waits for me to leave that room so she can go do that, y'all. She's a hot mess. So anyway, that was not fun, but that bed frame is done. I will be doing furniture for myself, but I do not plan on doing furniture for resale. It's just not something that I enjoy. So I've just been doing my best to get stuff done around the house when I have time. I also can't really work when the contractors are here because I have to keep rent out of their hair. I've also been trying to do stuff with the kids because it is their summer. So I've been bringing them to do stuff like we went ice skating. There's this park in town that we really like. We've been doing shopping. So, you know, getting ready for the start of school. So I've just been, it's been a balancing act, just trying to get stuff done and keep the kids out of the contractor's hair and hopefully have them enjoy their summer as well. So I hope y'all give me a little bit of grace as I try to navigate this new house and get things done. I promise you as soon as everything is straight, I will be back to my regular thrift flips and the normal stuff I do on my channel. And then I'll, I'll throw a little bit of home renovation stuff as I get it done. And also there'll be lots of shopping. <laughs> shopping videos are always fun and easy. So I will always have them in hopefully every week because I love going garage selling. Uh, tomorrow's garage selling day and I am so excited. So probably the next video you see will be a haul video with hopefully lots of goodies for the new house. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all enjoyed the update on the house. Y'all have a wonderful day and I will see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching and give this video a big